Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake. We're AV Data. Thanks for learning how to automate the boring with Alteryx. In this video, we're taking a look at documenting the tools in Canvas within Alteryx. And you'll see there's a major difference between a Canvas with no documentation and a Canvas that has comment boxes, tool containers, and tool annotations. So we'll start by taking a look at tool names and annotations and how to customize those for each tool. We'll then take a look at using tool containers to group tools together and then using comment boxes to describe activity across groups of tools that can move independently. In our video today, we're working with a data set that's one Excel workbook with 14 sheets worth of data. Each sheet is formatted identically, and each sheet has the same challenges as we transform this from its raw data into a nice uh, clean table that's used for downstream activities. The link to the data sets available in the comments if you'd like to follow along. Using the input data tool, we're referring to the list of sheet names, and across those 14 sheets, we have almost 9,000 records of data. The workflow runs in about 1.4 seconds, so we can clean this data up very quickly. And to take a look at how we've done it, this is a good excuse for us to talk about the documentation capabilities within Alteryx. We'll take a look at the interior of the batch macro. Now, uh, this is a, an example of what not to do. Somebody has gone and created a spaghetti bowl of tools. Uh, these are the exact same tools, but they've been laid out nicely. However, you don't really know what the tools are doing because there aren't any notes or any annotations. You can turn the annotations on in the workflow configuration panel. Um, I like to have mine on with the tool names, but if you want to also have the annotations only, you can do that. Thanks, Blake. And also with the connection progress that shows us the number of records as well as the size of the file at each interval, uh, we would recommend you leave that to show as well. This is really important diagnostic information. It helps you understand the ins and outs of your data at each step in the workflow. So here we see on this first sheet, we have 703 records. Now taking a look at the documentation within our main batch macro canvas, if we select an individual tool, so here I'm selecting tool 1.3, so that's the third tool in our first tool container. On the left side of the configuration panel, uh, you'll notice there's a, a price tag looking option, and we uh, see that it says annotation when we hover over it. We can customize the tool name so here, if I add the word demo and refresh the canvas, we'll see that on the live canvas, uh, the word demo has been added after the tool name. So we can customize the tool name as well as the annotation. So this is a great place to add longer descriptions of what each tool is doing. But you'll notice that the tool and the ID number up in the, the very top of the configuration panel are grayed out. So we can only modify the tool name as well as the annotation. Some tools you'll notice auto-generate an annotation, and you can always go in and change that to whatever you'd like. So next we're going to take a look at using tool containers. These are the gray boxes that are grouping the tools together, which can be found in the documentation category, or you can highlight a group of tools and right-click and add to tool container. And this is a great way for you to uh, encapsulate logic and group similar tools together, you can also disable chunks of logic or minimize it from view to keep your canvas tidy. And you'll see that we've used a number of comment boxes to describe activity across groups of tools. And these can be formatted so you can see them when you're zoomed out and provide that 30,000 foot up view of what's happening within the workflow. Comment boxes can also be used to bring in images and logos. And the last tool from the documentation category is the Explorer box, which can be used to render a website and perhaps even a video within your Canvas or a video within a video within your Canvas. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.